welcome to Physics Sucks Nightly with your host, Jeff Ubenchin. Today we'll be exploring profound effects of hurricanes, specifically storm surges. As many of you know, hurricanes often haunt the ocean coast with the possibility of total hey, destruction. Cut. You sound like a f***. Nah, that's dumb. That's pick three. Ready? <laughs> hurricanes often haunt the ocean coast with the possibility of total destruction. But how does a storm surge develop and how does it impact the coastline? All this and more in Discovery Channel's Storm Surge. Da -da -da -da. Storm Surge. Da -da -da -da. At 6.10 a.m. on Monday, August 29th, a Category 5 hurricane named Katrina made landfall on the Louisiana coast, laying waste to everything in its path. Where did this catastrophic storm come from? On August 24th, the temperature of the ocean in the Bahamas was about 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Warm, moist air was rising from the ocean. As it rose, it condensed to form a system of thunderstorms. This condensation released heat that warms the cool air the motion creates a pattern of wind that begins to circulate and form a center. Occasionally, one such wheel of thunderstorm gathers strength, feeding moisture and heat. When the winds of tropical depression fall at 39 miles per hour, tropical storm Katrina was born. Most tropical storms spin out their lives in the open sea. Some, like Katrina, are destined for landfall. She moves slowly, while getting stronger, destined for flow riding. Katrina was only Category 1 hurricane when it glanced off. Okay, so basically a storm system develops as the cycle of rising water creates a system of winds around a center. Storm surges, however, are caused by heavy winds of these systems. As the winds gain speed, the water rises due to the low pressure. The Samson's hurricane scale measures wind speeds, categories 1 through 5. Basically, wind speed is directly influential to storm surge height. We know the higher the wind speed, or category, the higher the storm surge will be. Storm surges are the most destructive features of storms. Coastal communities begin to feel the effects of heavy rain and strong winds. However, the most destructive weapon is the accompanying storm surge, a rise in ocean levels up to 33 feet, as shown here to the left. Up next, the factors that affect storm surge height. Cut, cut. Two, one. They were rolling. It's live. Welcome back. Now let's discuss surge height. Storm surge height is affected by many factors including storm intensity, forward speed, size, angle of approach, central pressure, anal, and the shape of characteristics of the coastal features such as bays and estuaries. We got live footage from the center of Super Storm Soon. Hello, Timmy Turner here. For example, when a storm surge gets into shallow water, the storm can get aggravated. Come on, get in the pool, we have to show them. Oh boy. Get in the pool. It's too cold. You have to get in the pool. Hey, get in the pool. What are you doing? Join us next week for Physics Sucks Nightly.